All right, switching into the beacons from the Hoko recovery sandals. I am still in recovery mode, whoops. And yes, I was sitting in there for maybe 45 minutes on a Sunday afternoon, just chilling out in the recliner, right? Raising those feet up, elevating the legs a little bit and planning out my week of training based upon a little bit. Yes, a little tip of the day. I like to look at my weather app on my phone every Sunday and really study and you got to find the right app that works like I tell you what there's a lot of times when weather apps are off for me but I I like to use a local weather source uh, I think they just get a, a get it a little more accurate when it comes to weather and then based on the weather that does impact uh, my training to a certain extent like I'm not afraid to move a workout from like today or sorry um Thursday of this upcoming week week it's supposed to be really nice out and so that's probably going to be a bigger day of volume for me uh so anyway that's what i like to do that's what you saw me doing inside there and uh oh yeah one last point even though i love walking around in the hoka recovery sandal in my house i do love to heed my brother's advice joseph he uh is an advocate of walking around your house barefoot so shout out to joseph i think that's brilliant and Sometimes I'm in so much uh, tight, I'm so tight or sore or just in yeah gen general pain that it really helps to walk around in a sandal. However, if you like, I, I don't know. I think it's better to be barefoot if you can, um, if you can walk around without too much pain after a long workout, a long run, etc. And today we're just going three miles easy. Usually I don't do back-to-back -back easy days like this easy. However. It was a big week last week, and I have one more big week coming up before taking a little, uh, a little, a little break, a mini break before my first race in early March. Uh, so I want to make sure I'm nice and rested up for the upcoming mileage this week. It's uh, it's going to be the some of the more higher mileage since college. Um, not quite approaching the highest mileage since college, but pretty darn close. All right, let's go. Every time I wear the beacons, I ask myself, why do I not wear these beautiful shoes every single day? I love the beacons and I haven't worn them in two or three weeks because I'm trying to save them. Version two, you may not know this, is coming out this summer. And I think it's, Ju I heard July 1st. I might not be completely accurate on that, but I don't want to buy another pair of the version one when the version two is set to come out this summer. So I'm trying to save them, preserve them as much as possible. Uh, but oh man, I just, the ride is amazing, Joseph. It's amazing. You wanna say hello to YouTube? Hi YouTube, snow party is so fun. Woo hoo hoo hoo. All right, Sunday dinner coming right up. But first I gotta get in the foot exercises. Gotta stay on top of it. Help keep me accountable.
like you got up, they probably won't even know they're here. I got, this is the best thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. I mean, this is what you thought of this. And you brought home the bacon so we could up our budget. Um, we are doing it. Thanks for Michael. Forward and back. <laughs> yeah! The wheel? Get it, Michael. We've got boxes, YouTube family. All right, this is a brand new pair of shoes. We're not gonna open these up today. We're gonna wait for the live stream. However, the boys are adamant that we open up at least one box, right boys? Whoa! All right, this is from a, these are used shoes that we're gonna give away, I don't know, probably in the next 10 days. We're gonna, wa we're gonna wait till four or five shoes uh, show up. All right, here we go, ready? These are from Michigan. Shout out to Michigan. What's in here? Oh, there's a note. Yay! Yeah! Oh, wow. oh, they're beautiful. Nice. Okay, these are Zoom Pegasus 35s from Nike. Thank you to Brent for sending these. Go Brent! I'm not gonna tell you the size. We're gonna wait. So we're gonna give these shoes away. Uh, like I said, in the next 10 days. Hi Seth, it's Brent. I hope somebody can enjoy these shoes. They only have 20 miles on them. Thanks. Oh, no wonder they look 20 cool. miles. You are amazing, Brent. Look at those. Oh, I love the color. Yeah. I might have to keep them. No, just kidding. They are way too big for my foot. Please, yeah, it's brilliant. Isn't that amazing? Yes. That's amazing. And 20 miles. I mean, that yeah. looks brand 20 new. 20 miles, brand new. Let's just say they're a pretty big size. So if you have a bigger foot, stay, stay tuned. There we go. I must say, I'm digging this bright orange on the Pegasus 35. Thank you again, Brent. That's pretty sweet. Okay, uh, it's Sunday evening. I'm taking it a little easier tonight as far as filming and, you know, the family's asleep. I'm out here in the studio, so we're going to keep this a little more concise. I just have a couple quick updates. I'm struggling to reply to all of your emails. It's just me filming, editing, publishing these, this daily vlog, and I'm always striving for the highest quality video production. Uh, I, I think quality is really, really important for, for, for any message that you want to communicate. And so that is my number one priority, and I, I think you already know that. Therefore, I don't have enough time to reply to all the emails that are coming in. Like, if I want to sit down and answer every single email, it's gonna, I probably have 10 to 15 emails waiting for me and I can't just write back one or two sentences like they're really good questions that you're asking me. So thank you for your patience. I just putting it out there. I may have to re-strategize the email conversations that are going to happen moving forward, but I will reply to every single email that's in my inbox right now. Just bear with me. I would say right now, the two best places to ask questions are either on Instagram, that's a great place, keep it short, but Instagram, direct messages, or on the Demore Global Running uh, uh, Strava group, okay? And of course, down in the comments, and we're gonna get to that in a minute, uh, of every single video. Like, I really do my best to read every single comment, like it, and if I have time, reply. Uh, therefore, moving on to the topic for today, I am going to commit, and that is the key word, commit, because I feel like I've really got a good handle on publishing a daily video, right? And sometimes twice a day, it's kind of amazing, like, it's, I've kind of figured out how to do that, but I have not, let's say, found that com complete commitment to replying to all the emails, all the comments, so, but we're gonna get there. Well, I'm not giving up. It's like we never give up, right? You don't give up. You just keep figuring out strategies and different ways to reply to the conversation because that's where I frankly think, I don't know, 85% of the value is really at is down in the comments where we're just getting these incredible conversations going and on the Demore Global Running Strava group. Okay, with that said, the question of the day and over the next let's say minute or two, you're gonna see some, um, you're gonna see some of my shoe collection pop up on your screen and you're gonna see some specs. And basically, I wanna continue to bring you value even though it's a Sunday night and I'm not filming a ton today. I wanna bring you some value tonight with respect to 
running shoes, because we love running shoes here. We love running shoes here. Therefore, what question of the day, what questions do you have for me about any running shoe? It would help if it was a if it was a company that I'm a little familiar with, but it doesn't have to be. I'm willing to dig in and and figure out the answers for you. And there and that so here's my commitment to you starting tonight. Uh, for this video, I'm going to reply to every single comment. I try to do that for every vlog, but it doesn't always happen. So, what question do you have for me about any running shoe out there? And just remember. I'm a big Solomon fan. I've begun to dabble in New Balance, like today on the run today, the New Balance Beacon. I'm also, yeah, I'm a big Nike fan. I, ha I have quite a few Nikes and I've had experience with Nike since I ran in Nike at the University of Colorado. Uh, let's see, even trying out my first Innovate shoes with micro spikes, so feel free to ask about those. Uh, yes, and I'm even starting to learn about Ultra Zero Drop and just figuring out like what's going on with the Zero Drop movement out there because there's not, Ultra is not the only company now doing Zero Drop. So that's another option for you to ask about. Of course, uh, I actually, in the last five years, I probably have the most experience in Hoka, believe it or not. I'm not running as much these days in Hoka, but I've run in Hoka a ton in the last five years. So that's another option. And yes, maybe, uh, now listen, Reebok, I have not tried the Float Ride Run Fast Pro, but as you know, I'm bullish on this shoe. And so feel free to dabble in there. Skechers, I know some of you are skeptical about Skechers, but I'm so far, they're, they're treating me well. There's no other way to say it, especially this Razor 3. And of course, the on lineup. Still trying to figure the on lineup out, but that's another option. And there you go. That's uh, that's most of the collection. And I tell you what, Saucony is on my on my radar. And uh, who else is on my radar in 2019? Saucony, and there was one other. Um, well, okay, I'm just gonna tell you right now. There's a good chance I'm gonna be trying out some new Mizuno, sh Mizuno shoes in 2019. It's kind of exciting, all right? I won't get into the details about that right now, but my first pair of racing flats, my seventh grade cross country season, they were Mizuno. It's like I have a, I have this little connection there with Mizuno and I just love it. So anyway, feel free to ask anything and yes, Commitment is the key word because I am committed to replying to every single comment on this vlog. All right, because I'm here for you and I want to bring you value. Sound good? All right, that's good times. Good times in the studio. Thank you for being here on a Monday and we've got a great week ahead. Oh my goodness. I guess we could talk all night, but I will cut it there. Seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow. Woo! Woo!